Pete Prisco did his first mock draft this week. He's got four quarterbacks going with the top five picks. He says any one of these QBs could go first overall. So, Brady, you're the Panthers general manager. Who are you taking today? If it's me, I'm taking Bryce Young, but that doesn't seem to be where things are leading. And, you know, not only from a betting standpoint where C.J. Stroud after the combine became the betting favorite, but also after the pro day, uh, you saw C.J. Stroud ball out. Josh McCown had some words for him. Uh, but to me, I think Bryce Young really inhibits all the things you're looking for at the next level. People are just concerned about his durability and size, but I think he's a quick processor, a great decision maker. He'll be able to step in day one and be a starter. He's just got that sort of football IQ. But it's Stroud, the one that also is right there nipping at his heels behind him. He's probably the most accurate. He's got a strong arm, no concerns about the size. And he showed off some of the athleticism. And again, going back to the comments of the pro day, Josh McCown makes a comment in regards to <laughs> hey, one day when you're coming down to Charlotte, maybe we could be, play a little one-on-one -on -one or horse or something like that. So Josh McCown's a pretty honest dude. I don't know that he'd make a comment to a prospect unless that was legitimate. And he felt like that was going to be the direction that this team is going to go. Yeah, Brady, I think it's going to be C.J. Stroud. And you alluded to what Josh McCown said. Now, was that some gamesmanship? Was he talking about a top 30 visit? They come and play one-on-one? -on -one? I don't think so. I think C.J. Stroud is going to be the guy for the Carolina Panthers. And if you look at Frank Wright in his history, right, the quarterbacks that he's had, talk about Phillip Rivers, Andrew Luck, Matt Ryan, Carson Wentz, Jacoby Brissett, all of these guys were over six foot three. And that's what you know, C.J. Uh, Stroud fits. He's 6'3", in between 215, 220 pounds. The only concern people had with him was, would he be able to make off-platform throws when things break down, with, when there's pressure up the middle? Can he make plays? Well, first the game in versus Georgia in the college football playoffs, he showed that. Jalen Carter came unblocked. He was able to make a play, roll out to his right, find Marvin Harrison in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. And another play, protection breaks down, finds Marvin Harrison again. And then when the chips are on the table, game on the line, 30-yard scamper to put his team in field goal position to win that game. Now, I ultimately missed the field goal kick, but I think he answered a lot of questions about his mobility. To me, he's the best, purest passer in this draft class. And as far as fundamental, fundamentals, his footworks and mechanics are second to none out of all these draft uh, quarterbacks. Now, I think Bryce Young, to me, is the most calmest guy in the pocket, but C.J. Stroud is the purest passer and has the best fundamentals. I believe he's the number one pick for the Carolina Panthers. Panthers are certainly putting pieces in place for him. D.J. Chark signed to a one-year deal today. NFL analyst Brady Quinn, Leger Duzable, talking ball here with us on CBS Sports HQ. Latest episode of the Pick 6 podcast, also talking ball. They're doing uh, future picks for the upcoming season. You can listen to Katie Mox, Will Brinson, and John Breach. Download and follow wherever you get your podcasts. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.